God damn. We're back, <laughs> dumbasses. <laughs> we're back, you fucking yeah. idiots. Uh, yeah. Episode seven. What we are going to be talking about today is a bunch of shit, a bunch of balls, and a bunch of yeah. ball balls shit. A bunch um, of ass. Yo, so Pax uh, was just telling me some crazy shit <laughs> about a zoo in Massachusetts. A fucking, a fucking emu escaped captivity in Massachusetts. East Bridgewater, Massachusetts, a large pet bird that is normally native to Australia caused a ruckus in the south of Boston after escaping her home. <laughs> the fucking emu was walking down the street and they caught it on uh, security cameras. The bird named Mallory was eventually subdued in a parking lot by her owner, police, and a bystander. Oh my God. A large pet bird caused ruckus in South Boston after escaping from her home. Uh, Flightless bird got loose on Thursday night in East Bridgewater and led police on a chase through Brockton. The bird's <laughs> owner, Lee Flaherty, told television station that a wild animal likely caused the emu to jump over a six-foot fence and take off. Fuck, man. The bird named Mallory was eventually subdued by Flaherty police and a boy. Dude, Mallory was like, man, fuck this. <laughs> Mallory got pissed. Yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. So just, I'm taking it, it didn't attack anything. It's just that when you look out your window and see a fucking emu running down the street, that it's confusing. I would feel like I was, like, just seeing shit. I wouldn't believe what I saw. You, you've you seen some, like, weird wild animals living in Florida, haven't you? Are we talking about the people who live here, or are we talking about no, the actual... Because, like, like, in South Carolina, we would see, like, peacocks and, like, giant fucking turkeys and shit running around everywhere. We have alligators, like, all over the fucking place. Well, we we I, had alligators in South Carolina, too, but I'm talking about, like, okay. birds and shit. Like, have you ever seen, like, a weird bird running around? Not really. Not like in fucking... My, uh, my homie's mom had a cockatoo, like, one of those white things that, like, they, oh, scream, yeah, yeah. In, they scream into cups and, like, they I kill love shit. It. I love cockatoos. It escaped and went to the state park and was just flying around, like, squawking at shit. And eventually they caught it and got it back home, but just... For a few hours, that, that cockatoo was out there fucking shit up. <laughs> and I'm just, um, I love birds, man, but they do some stupid shit. <laughs> like, they're curious, but they're not smart enough to know that their curiosity will get them fucking killed. Dude, some birds are, like, way too smart, like, for their own good, like, fucking, like, crows and shit. Oh, dude, what the fuck was it? Uh, I think it's a magpie. I think it's a, a magpie. magpie. There was a video of a magpie. And uh, there was a bottle of water that, like, didn't have a lid on it. And it would drink the water. And, like, because it would drink it, the water would get lower. So it would eventually, like, its beak couldn't reach the water anymore. Thank you. Eventually, the beak couldn't reach the water anymore. So it would fuck off and get some pebbles and throw it in the, the bottle so that it would displace the water and rise oh, it. Oh, so yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen yeah, have that. Have you seen video. that? It's fucking crazy. And, like, they're using, like, basic tools and shit, like sticks. Like, they're using sticks to grab shit that they can't reach. Oh, my God. They're fucking so smart, dude. Yeah. They're and like, so smart. Is it ravens? They, like, if you give them shit, they'll go out and get, like, something for you, too? Ravens and crows will both do that. And crows are, uh, like, they're communist uh, to an extent. So, whenever a murderer crows is, like, jiving in some place, like, to get food or whatever... They have a designated lookout crow, and his job is to watch every other crow and make sure that if they find food, they share. And if he sees somebody getting some food and not share with everybody else, he lets everybody else know that they're moving on except for him. So they leave Damn, without their boy dude. because he wouldn't share the grits that he found. And That's fucking awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> like, man, you found some French fries and you didn't even tell us. Fucking punk. Fuck you, Jeff. And they just leave him to fucking die. Jeff, god damn it, dude. There was a there was a dude in New York. He makes I don't know if he still makes a living, but for a while he made a living uh because he taught he had a pet crow. Oh, I've seen he, this dude. They yeah, taught, he taught it, it to go to, get fucking loose change and like dollar yeah. bills and shit all over the city. So so it started off with like he taught him to pick up coins and put it in a jar for a peanut. And then the crow was like, oh, I bet I could do this with other coins. So the crow would leave and pick up coins. And then other crows would be like, 
yo, what's up? Like, why are you doing this? And he's like, there's this dude over on this roof. He's going to give us food forever. All we have to do is bring him shiny shit. So he literally like quit his job and he would just sit on the roof all day giving peanuts to pros. And they would just fill up jar after jar after jar with change and dollars and all kinds of shit. Good God, man. There's one dude who, uh, he mines gold in sidewalks. There's gold in sidewalks? I swear to God, I've heard There's of this. There's gold Hang on. in them sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> Rafi Stepanian, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, he would go to, like, he would go out on the streets of New York City with tweezers and a butter knife, and he would dig in the cracks of sidewalks, and he would find bits of gold, and he made money that way. Like, dude, that's a real hustle, dude. It's like the <laughs> dedication to that, but also yeah, like... I'm not kidding, man. Can you imagine how dangerous that is? Dude, it takes me all day to even consider even going and get a butter knife when I need one. Like, I don't even want to get off my fucking I mean, chair. There's that, but like at the same time, how <laughs> dangerous is it to walk down the streets of New York with a grocery bag full of gold nuggets? Yeah, and a butter knife, too. Yeah, you're going to get fucking stabbed. <laughs> And they're going to take your butter knife. <laughs> they're going to leave the gold. They're going to take your butter knife. Not the butter knife. Fucking- take the gold. Take the gold, not the knife. This is an heirloom. <laughs> People got some weird fucking hustles, man. I uh, like- I was reading this story about this guy in Florida. Oh, Florida, man. Um, He was dubbed the uh, pooping perpetrator. And uh, <laughs> I guess he... Right. <laughs> this was in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. And this guy... At like two thirty in the morning, like broke into Joe's Crab Shack, a <laughs> fucking place called Joe's Crab Shack, and he just yeah. broke in and took a shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> For, to what end? <laughs> What's well, the he, point? Also, he also stole some shit like alcohol and stuff, but he had okay, this well, shit. Okay, that that makes way more the sense. Best, the worst than breaking worst into a building with the express <laughs> intention of shitting on the floor and making it somebody else's <laughs> problem, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He also stole like a Joe's Crab Shack hat, like a souvenir, <laughs> hat, and he was wearing it when he was walking around the restaurant. <laughs> Dude, that's too Fuck. damn good. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, insane, man. Have you ever have you ever like typed in your birthday and then Florida man? Well, oh, I should do that right now. So on July eleventh of twenty seventeen, because July eleventh is my birthday, uh-huh. a man with no arms stabbed somebody with a <laughs> pair of scissors. <laughs> he put God. the scissors on his like in between his big toe and the second toe. And just ran up and kicked somebody with it. Jesus. Like, that is a bad motherfucker. Okay, February 4th. Man attacked his sister and bit a cop after someone touched his cigar. What the? Someone touched you like, absolutely not, damn it. And the way that that's phrased, somebody touched it. So that, like, someone touched his cigar, so his response was to beat the fuck out of his sister and bite a cop. (laughs) Here's another one. Florida man this show you, out. motherfucker. This dude threw a fucking propane tank through his ex-wife's back door. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That's how you gotta uh, do it to him, man. Someone touched my propane tank, so I threw my sister through a back door. Jesus Christ. You gotta be a strong fucking person to throw a human being through a door. <laughs> Don't uh, touch my propane tank, motherfucker. There, there, was, there was one Florida man story where it was like, Two men attempt to burn down ex-boyfriend's house with spaghetti sauce. One of them was dressed as a bull. Were these dudes like, so they were two men who dated the same guy and they were I don't know if they dated, I don't know if they dated the same guy or if one of them dated him and they decided to join forces, but one of them dressed as a bull and they tried to burn down the dude's house with spaghetti sauce. It was probably Jeff, man. It was probably Jeff. (laughs) Fucking Jeff, Jeff. dude. Every fucking time, man. Every problem in the world is caused by somebody named Jeff. I always get spam calls from Jeff with like fucking yeah. Geico in Connecticut. <laughs> Dude, spam calls are the most dumbass shit. Dude, they're getting worse, man. I swear. I get like five or six at least a day now. I don't get them every single day, but whenever I do get them, I get multiple ones in the mm-hmm. same day. Oh, it's fucking bad. And Dude. They'll call me and like, it'll be the area code of the town that I used to live in. 
So I'll be thinking, okay, it's someone that I knew and I don't have their number anymore. Or they uh-huh. changed numbers or whatever. And I pick it up and it's just some fucking dude. It's like, hey, do you want to talk about still in love with you? It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Calm down, Jeff. <laughs> fucking Jeff, it's dude. A, fucking Jeff. It's the most annoying God shit, dude. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> and then, dude, and then I'll hang up because I'm... I'll either scream at them, make fun of them, <laughs> uh, because there's nothing more appealing to me than bullying somebody who's just doing their job, yeah. And, or I'll just hang up. If it's just like a recording, I'll hang up. There was one time when I got a call from someone claiming to be from the IRS, <laughs> uh, and they're like, "You owe, you owe uh, seven thousand something dollars to the IRS." Because you didn't pay it at some some shit like that. Like you did. By the pay way, the IRS will us. never contact you through the phone. Ever. Or anybody ever. That's not a real thing. It doesn't they happen. They do not call you. They do not email you. They don't do any of that shit. No. If you get a if you get contacted that way, it's not real. Please don't give your information to those people. Mm-mm. But they call me, they're like, you owe like seven thousand dollars. It's like seven thousand mm-hmm. and some change. Like But you gotta pay us on Google Play cards. <laughs> It's always, it's always fucking Google Play cards. Yeah. You have to pay us in Red Lobster gift cards. Yeah. That's how the IRS works now, man. It's how it, it's and Joe's how Crab Shack. If you got some Joe's Crab Shack fucking <laughs> gift cards, man. Just break in and shit on the floor and take yeah. some gift cards to pay mm-hmm. the IRS. Mm-hmm. You owe us one defecation and a uh, Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> one defecation. Joe's Crab Shack, brother. How would the IRS qualify what defecation equals what amount of money? Like by weight, probably. But like, should it also be consistency? Like texture? No, because you have dollar bills and you also have like pennies. No, but what I'm saying is like, if you have like a really grainy little shit nugget, that's not going to be worth more than like, it might not be the same amount in volume, but in weight, it'll be the same as like a very dense pile of shit. Maybe that's like gold. Like gold is dense, and it's like <laughs> gold is weird. We just gold arbitrarily comes in nuggets, decided. Too. Well, it's like we just arbitrarily decided that that is the specific rare rock that we're going to base our money off of, <laughs> and <laughs> now people kill each other for it, or they dig it out of the fucking sidewalks with a fucking butter knife, and just live their best life. <laughs> I became friends with a crow. I mean, not friends like oh, we're on a first name basis, but like I was working. <laughs> and I went it's out to my truck. Carl. I I named him uh, Reginald the Third. Nice, because I just there were there was not a second or a first. I just felt like the third was more distinguished. I was working at Dollar General and I was on break, and I had a you know Andy Caps hot fries. I I don't <laughs> never the heard fuck? of that before, dude. It's <laughs> fucking delicious, d fucking delicious. As one like from a fat guy, you got to try that. That is the tastiest treat. What is it called partake again? Where, where are they at? Andy, Andy Caps Hot Fries. I thought you said Handicapped Hot Fries for a no. second. Oh, I'm sorry. Go to like a Dollar General, a Dollar Tree, a gas station, any kind of convenience place. Look for a blue bag <laughs> with a big nose guy with a little hat and he's flipping a french fry into his mouth. Nice. They are a treat. They are delectable. They are delightful. They are refreshing perfection in a bag is what they are to well are they curly are they straight are they they're straight are they they're straight it's okay. not an actual french fry it's like it's like a chester's hot fries like the cheeto things oh but without but like without cancerous causing levels of red See, dye. i thought you were talking like a frozen bag of french fries no no you pick these up off of a shelf and just eat them they're, they're uh-huh. little baked puffs but they're All in the right. shape of french fries and they're so fucking good and they also have uh they have cheddar fry, hot fry, onion rings. I think they have a ranch flavored chip, but I'm not sure. Damn. Uh, anyway, I left my earbuds in my truck. So when I was on break, I was like, okay, I'm going to go grab the earbuds. And there was this big ass crow, like bigger than any fucking crow I've ever seen in my life. Like the fucker was like this. Okay. And I was like, you know what? He he is a heckin' boy. I'm going to give him some of my chips. So I pulled up like a handful of the hot fries and crows usually know whether or not people in their area can be trusted. Uh-huh. That makes sense. 
Like if you're in a place where people are constantly in and out or people aren't actively hunting birds, crows will pretty much just hang around. Right. They'll fly off if you get really close to them, but they're just kind of vibing. But I get as close as I can to this bird before I feel like he's going to fuck off and I just drop some of the fries down and I grab my earbuds, I go back inside and I went back out after my break to put him back in the truck because uh, I got in, well, I didn't get in trouble, but I got told off. It's like, you can't be doing daddy work, even though like I, I did it every fucking day. Uh, <laughs> fucking Dollar General, man. Fucking bullshit. It wasn't even like a manager. It was a customer. They were telling me off, but they they were saying like, I know the manager. I'm not going to say the manager's name, but they knew the manager's name. They were like, I'm going to get in touch with them, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm not dealing with this headache. I'm just going to put him back in my truck. The manager's name was uh, Smeagol Johnson. Was Jeff. It was fucking Jeff. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. I took the earbuds back out and this crow had a bottle cap in its mouth and it was waiting for me next to the truck. Nice, dude. And I got close. It set down the bottle cap and it flew away. If this was like Fallout Universe, that would be sick. Dude. A whole last dollar just for sharing some chips with a crow? Yeah. Dude, that was like the most spiritual experience I've ever had. <laughs> like my faith in God was renewed that day because of oh, that yeah, crow. Man. And I just walked out and he was just like, Bleh, and then flew off. And I was like, this is the moment, dude. I listened to fucking Journey on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> From one to absolute shit. What is it like working at Dollar General? Absolute shit. Yeah. Because they fucking lie to you constantly. Yeah. At least the Dollar General I worked at, they lied constantly. The managers would do shit actively to get you in trouble. Like, intentionally. If they fucked something up, they would tell the district manager that you did it. Or they would actively give you incorrect information. There was this one bitch who was getting transferred from store to store to store to store. And she finally got to our district, got multiple people fired by telling them to do the wrong thing and was actively like going from store to store telling people. And she was a manager. She was supposed to be someone you can trust. Goes from store to store. Don't handle the money that way. Leave the bag open. The fuck that like that gets us fired immediately. Like don't handle money this way don't stock what you're supposed to do is this that and the other and the way i looked at it was if i'm doing the wrong thing i can just blame my manager and everybody else is going to take my side so i'm going to keep doing what i'm doing right but she just kept on it's like you know you're doing the wrong work this is what you're supposed to be doing blah 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 and then i heard about other people in the district getting fired for following her instructions what an asshole yep and then people uh there was this one bitch that I worked with. Bitch. Bitch with a capital B H. Uh she's a fan of Eric. So she found out I'm in Eric's band. I'm in your band. Like we're she found out we're a thing. <laughs> and because she's a fan, she was like all the fucking time, tell I said hey. And then I mentioned, like, you know, because of Eric, I got a microphone, blah blah blah. Ask Eric to help me with money. <laughs> what why the fuck would i do that and then just ha- goes off on some tangent about me pretending my dog was sick so i didn't have to come in on my day off and then walked out of the store fucking bitch so when i moved out here just to spite her i had uh one of the homies from the store text her that i now live with Eric <laughs> just to be spiteful because i knew it would piss her off to figure that out uh oh my so God. yeah i hated it and i will never work at another dollar general i i will sell one of my testicles to make money before i go to work at a dollar general dude i saw this crazy shit about like <clears throat> so this funeral home up in iowa okay um actually no no the funeral home was actually in new york the body came from iowa um okay. this woman who was 83 was found breathing after she arrived in a fucking body bag. Oh, hell no, dude. Dude, they shipped her alive. 
And uh, I guess the how does uh, that how does that happen? I don't know, man. Just carelessness. Um, I guess the the Fucking care center hell. in Iowa was like fined like ten grand. But I'm assuming there's got to be like some other lawsuits involved. Like it's fucking wild. It has to be. I mean, granted, the woman was in really poor hair health. I think she she passed away like shortly thereafter. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's fucking crazy. Like I Jesus can't fucking Christ. imagine, dude. If I like working at that fucking mortuary, is that what they're called? Mortuaries? A funeral home. A funeral home. Like, can you imagine working there and you get a body and she's just like. <laughs> i would lose my fucking mind yeah what do you want to do at your funeral come back to life or shit on like <laughs> a, a restaurant like shit in a restaurant after i break in shit in a restaurant and then just go to your funeral to attend bury me in the fucking joe's crab shack hat i want to be cremated and i want somebody to be walking into the fucking ceremony thing with an urn full of flour and I want them to trip and throw the earth all over everybody in the pews. <laughs> and everyone's losing their minds like, oh, God. And then they just like whip out the second urge. Just like, like I want God. that so bad. It would be so good. Jesus, dude. What music do you want played at your funeral? I don't know. I want to pick like something like super annoying. What's like a really good annoying song? The hamster dance. Or that like fucking, oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! No, a song or whatever. That's a that, that's a air that fucking that's an Aerosmith song, isn't it? I don't fucking know, but it's all over like TikTok videos, and it's fucking horrible. We all, like it. I hate it so much that I would want other people to have to listen to that like on loop for like an hour. <laughs> it's a little fifteen second audio, and it just loops over and over again for an hour. <laughs> and it's like a fuck. Like I'll just get like some crazy recording of like whales of like, <laughs> each other, like. Just yeah. blast. Just Jesus blast. Christ. You're going to have to censor that one. <laughs> no, does it going to be like whales? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like each other. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's not better at all. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> you know, I have someone record Christ. the sound of like a whale cock smacking a like coffee table. And that's just going to play over and over and over again. <laughs> a coffee table. And like maybe like some dude like slamming his nuts in the mic where just like, ah, like the audio from uh, Jackass. I think it's Jackass 4.5. They put their dicks in a vice <laughs> so that it would hold up a table and they could play table tennis. <laughs> just get so the audio good. from that. Yeah, that's I fine. want. uh Michael Bolton's Greatest Hits, 1985 to 1995. That whole Hell album, yeah. front to back. Uh-huh. I want that played, but uh-huh. I want it to be bass boosted as fuck. Oh my so God. That no one gets to enjoy it. Or what you should do is like strip all the music so it's only a cappella and it's just <laughs> Michael Bolton singing behind no music. That would, that would be beautiful. Actually, like, it would. How am I supposed to live without you? Ah, oh, damn! Now I want that. I yeah, really dude. want that. You got to put that on like your fucking wish list. That or "Dancing Queen" by ABBA because I love that song. Yeah, it's so damn good. I saw this funny shit about like some kid in Michigan who's like six years old, and then, like he asked his dad like for his fucking phone to play a game on it. And he ended up ordering a thousand dollars worth of food off a of grub. <laughs> Fucking it! What the hell? <laughs> like it's it's like first it used to be kids would like buy a bunch of bullshit on like the app store, like or like fucking like yeah. like fucking shitty like scammed like fucking coins for some shitty game Jesus or whatever. Christ. I mean, I guess I would rather my kid order a bunch of fucking food, you know. At least then it can be like used for everybody instead of like just the app. Unless they bought like sense. a thousand dollars worth of like fucking, I don't know, like prunes or some shit. I would be pissed, but just like a thousand dollars worth of the little cups of jalapenos from uh, me and Ed's pizza. I'd be okay with that. I think I wouldn't be okay with it because they would expire by the time I get to the rest of them, man. It says he ordered a hundred, a hundred and eighty three dollars worth of jumbo shrimp. <laughs> 
That specific <laughs> amount, one hundred and eighty-three dollars worth of jumbo shrimp. <laughs> That's so good, man. Oh my god! I, the the amount of times have you ever played a a game called Hungry Sharks? No, it's not like Hungry Hungry Hippos. No, it's it's an app where like you control a shark. It's like touch screen, like you just drag, and then the shark goes to where you're dragging, mm-hmm. and you just eat people and fish right. and shit like that, and your shark gets bigger and once it gets big enough you could unlock a shark that's even bigger so like it goes from like a reef shark to a mako shark to a hammerhead to a tiger shark to a great white to a megalodon to a dunkleosteus to a mosasaur it stops being sharks after a while but anyway the amount of times that is I it would 2d ask, also so you're like it's 3d shit moving in a 2d plane okay the amount of times that i went to my dad when i was like 11 and 12 Dad, can you spend money on this game so I can buy the tiger shark faster? And he was like, it got to a point one time where it was like, the next damn time I got to put any kind of money in this fucking game. So <laughs> thanks, Dad. And that just went on with my day. But he got pissed after a while. <laughs> but it, it was fun as fuck to play, man. Uh, I haven't played any of, like, they have spinoffs now where it's like, a different, completely different art style and shit, and then they have a game about dragons where it controls the same way, but like, it's fantasy shit, so it's like dragons and witches and all I'm that. Gonna, I'm actually gonna take a look. I'm, I'm curious to see what games I have on my phone. Let's see what we got here. We got, uh... I will look I've got Roller well. Coaster Tycoon Classic, which is a fucking awesome game. I've got uh, Final Fantasy VII, which is also an awesome game. I've got a app called Happy Color, and that one's pretty cool. You can, uh, like, it's like a coloring book, sort of. Uh, I don't know if I have anything else. I think that might be uh, Mario Kart. I also downloaded the, uh, what was it, Diablo Immortal, I think is what it's called. But it oh, ended yeah. up being a giant pile of shit. <laughs> no, it was just, like, fucking garbage, dude. Like it, like, it just wasn't a balanced game, and they basically just wanted to rob you. I yeah. have, uh... Candy Crush. Fuck Blizzard, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> I have I have Candy Crush, Egg <laughs> Ink, and Plague Ink. Nice. And that is it. You got Egg Crush? Yeah. I crush your eggs any day, boy. Oh. Well, you gotta slam them in a microwave and then record it. Speaking of slamming shit into hot things, uh, <laughs> I found this. <laughs> <laughs> that can be interpreted a lot of ways, but... I saw this video. There's this dude I follow on TikTok because I'm overweight because he cooks shit. And he cooks like, he cooks fat people meals. Like, you know those like frozen White Castle sliders? Hell yeah. He'll take like two Tostino's pizzas and cook them and then put all four of the sliders and then make a big ass sandwich out of the entire thing. Nice. Like he, like shit like, like stoner food, but like fat people quantities do you know this of dude's channel food. like what is uh his at is i will i'll have to look who's that one fucking guy that i've been like obsessed with that you knew about it was like stale cracker i think is his name yeah and he's like he's a dude in louisiana he's a, he's a cajun dude he's <laughs> one of my favorite fucking things he has a sign uh in like the back of his workshop that says rougarou crossing and <laughs> i want that sign so fucking bad do you know what the rougarou is i don't actually no Okay, it's a French werewolf, and okay. over in France, it was called the Lougarou, but when it came over here, people, obviously, they started mispronouncing it as more English people got into the city and everything, Okay, uh, and it became Rougarou, but it's it's a werewolf, and it just runs around killing shit, being cool as fuck, so I want that Rougarou crossing sign it's so a French fucking werewolf? bad. French werewolf, yeah. Like werewolf in Paris? Isn't that a movie? I think that's yeah. a movie. Uh no, it's uh, American Werewolf in London. I think. Ah. I think that's the name of the movie. I don't know what movie you're talking about. Uh, because that was probably like the most painful looking werewolf transformation I've ever seen in a fucking movie. Oh yeah, ever. Yeah, like just bones cracking out of place. He's like, okay. <laughs> I saw that as a kid and it fucked me up. Some I saw as a kid that fucked me up was Alien versus Predator. Yeah, like it's not the best written movie. Is that the but one where you get to, to watch, like, the people actually get, like, fucking injected and shit, and, like, they, before they, like, burst out of their chests and shit? Yeah. 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 It's so, pretty like, sick. It's actually pretty badass. 
Yeah, but like w- when you're like a little kid who's already afraid of spiders, seeing a <laughs> face hugger grab onto somebody uh-huh. and just not let go, that horrified me. And then I turned like, I think 13 is when I got obsessed with like aliens and predators and all that shit. Uh-huh. So like the turnaround was, it was like 180 degrees. I went from like, this is scary to like, yeah, Just like you dude, fucking this is- say that. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking awesome, man. It's so good. Speaking of awesome TV, uh, next week I want you, uh, I want you to watch The Last of Us and catch up to where it is now, so we can have okay. a discussion. I'm okay. sure people watching or listening right now have seen it, and it's fucking amazing. I haven't seen any of it, uh, and I'm gonna kind of out myself here. We'll discuss it next time. I have not played the games either i hope that when you watch this it'll inspire you to play it is it available on is it available on xbox no i think it's on pc now right the last of us if it's on pc i can play it Uh, i think it is i'm pretty sure uh pre-purchase the last of us part one on steam it looks like release date is march 28th oh you know what else is coming out in march at least i'm pretty sure it's in march uh cattle decapitation's newest album <laughs> and i cannot what, fucking wait do you wait. know the date that it comes out i'm about to look into it real quick because that shit marches right around the corner speaking of march uh if any of you guys are wanting to see bro job live we are playing the 26th in tampa i'm just gonna go ahead and plug that real quick yeah the next day we're gonna be doing a a calendar shoot and we're gonna be like wearing like sexy costumes and shit it's gonna be awesome pretty excited for that i'm going to be playing a sexy cowboy and we have like this old truck we rented Uh, and yeah it's gonna be nice i was wrong it's not march it's may may 12th okay terracide comes out so yeah it's not gonna happen in may i'm not gonna spread my butt apart in may but it is gonna happen in march i'm pretty excited in march though i might spread my butt apart for the fucking the new cattle though that's pretty sick i'm gonna get like a fucking speaker and i'm gonna back my ass up to it and just blast it you one of those uh, butt plugs that vibrates to the tempo of the music you're listening to. And then just up the tempo, like double the speed. Yeah. Dude, if you get like get one of those things and like hey. listen to Last Days of Humanity. Put on like a boarded. Yeah, you'll come instantly. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, that's all you get. I should Dude, invest in one of those just to, just to experiment. I want someone to put one of those in my ass when, at my funeral. <laughs> what the fuck someone was cheating in a chess tournament with vibrating anal beats oh yeah yeah that was actually a thing uh i don't know how <laughs> how does what that I'm assuming, work what i'm assuming it was like one of those remote ones and like his buddy was like like doing like morse code but with his ass like you know what i mean so he had the plug in like, and his buddy had a remote but, and maybe it was like but how does that help him because he can he can see what his opponent's doing maybe he i don't know i don't know Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. If it was like poker and his homie was sitting behind the fucker he was Uh playing against Uh and it was like, Uh like tell him what he should, like what the best possible move is, 100%. But chess just seems like a weird sport to use your asshole to cheat at, you know? Yeah. What a dickhead or an asshole. (laughs) What a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. They don't. It's, do they make dick plugs? Is that a thing? Yeah, I'm sure people have plugged their dicks. That's got to be a thing yeah. out there. Dick but, plugs are a thing. You okay. get the, so there's. Have you ever seen like a mighty bean? <laughs> I like when, one of those no, little flippant. Look up mighty a beans mighty, right now. God, look up I mighty wanna, beans right now. Do I want to look this up? Mighty beans are fucking awesome, dude. Mighty bean. Be is it a toy or what is it? Yeah, it's a toy. It's not a sex toy. It's a, it's a toy. Okay. It's a little bean. It's okay. a magnetic I thought, bean. I, was, you know, I it, thought you were about to climbs. show me, like, dude, you got to see this dig plug. It's called a mighty bean. No, no, no. Like, I was like, no, what? No, no. But what I'm saying is, like, they're shaped like mighty beans, but they're smaller. And some of them, I think, do vibrate because they're hooked into shit. And you just kind of like, hey. and then go on about your day. Uh, <laughs> then go about your day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should. For anyone who is stupid, if you are inserting anything, do not leave it in your body for an extended period of time. That is how you damage your body. 
Do not do that, please, for your own safety. Yeah, I've had my dick plug in for like three weeks now. You should get that looked at. <laughs> I got like 30 Mighty Beans up there. <laughs> there was this one fucking dude. He put an extension cord in his dick. Dude. What? The entirety of it. Swear how that, to God. How is that even possible? You got to believe. I don't want to believe these things. <laughs> You gotta believe in yourself, man. Dan, I swear it was I. Some kind of cable. I'm just gonna look up extension cord in the urethra. <laughs> oh my god! You always hear about like crazy shit in like hospitals where dudes will like have they'll go into like the emergency room with something up their ass. I think there was a there was one dude like a couple years ago that like went to the hospital, and he said he accidentally fell on a fucking like a little like missile or some shit. It was like an actual yeah. fucking here. I got to look this shit up. Oh, my fucking God. A bomb squad was called to the ER after a man arrived with a cannon shell in his asshole. Oh, is that the old dude who arrived? He, he, he had artillery in his anus and a bomb squad got called and they were like, <laughs> yeah, this has sat long enough. It's no longer a threat, but we do need to get it out of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. I, I'm not going to talk about extension cord guy anymore because I've, I just, I've seen pictures now. I don't uh, know. No, nope, nope. Good. The worst story I've ever heard about somebody getting something lost in the sauce. Lost in the sauce. This, you know, like those fake pears, like the decorative ones. The fake what? Pears, like the fruit pear. Oh, like the, well, that they'll put on like tables with like fake oranges yeah. and apples and yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. Someone had a fake pear lodged in their ass, but <laughs> it gets worse. There's more sideways. Of course it was. Fucking sideways. How do you go? How do you approach this? How do you approach this situation? It's like Tetris when he accidentally hit the button oh, uh, one more time, like when it's like at the bottom, but oh, it, it turns just shoots sideways. down. Yes. That's what happened. To be shoved a fucking pear up his ass. So what they had to do, because like, those things have really hard stems. So that had to have been like digging into the wall, you know? Yeah. So what they had to do, because like they couldn't just, like they couldn't reach in and grab it well enough because they had <laughs> just kept slipping out. So what they had to do, they had to go in and like break the pair in half and take it out in two pieces. And just, honestly, man, if I ever put something up my ass and it doesn't come back out, I'm not going to the hospital. I'm just going to accept my fate. <laughs> Because I I would not just be able die. to, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to handle the shame of it, man. I just get backed up with shit until I die. Uh-huh. I, just, I just gotta I gotta go. That's my life now. I mean, I've seen people put weird shit in their asses, man. They make dildos, guys. Stop putting weird shit up your asses. Like I saw someone. If you put feel a the need can. to have something in your ass, grab something <laughs> that actually or is someone. meant to go into an ass. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah, someone put a can of monster in their butt. Of course, and like. Did. No, they opened the tab, uh, and then and then like <laughs> shot the monster. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's like, "Hey, someone's like, dude, you got any energy drinks? Yeah, give me a second here. You want a glass? Give me glass real quick." It's like you got an energy drink. He just leans over and just it's like, "I don't Wah. like, I don't like opening them like the traditional way because it like I don't know, it just messes with my. I can't, I just can't. So just give me a second. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People are weird. There, dude, there was one dude. Uh, I don't remember what he did. He was a criminal. I have to look into this. He was a, he did something fucked. I remember that. Uh-huh. But they couldn't get every, like, fuck, what's the story? Did he uh, have something in his asshole? No, no, no. He snuck another prisoner up his ass into the prison. Hey, what I, w- what I was thinking about, like, Having a storage unit in you, and that I remembered this story. I'm trying to remember what the fuck he did. It was, it was something fucked. Well, we were talking about sticking things up their asses, and like prison pockets are. A no, thing. I know, but like my my fucking my brain went somewhere else. Uh, the the long and the short of it is, they needed to get DNA tests from this dude for. So- I think he did some fuck shit to somebody. I think uh-huh. that's. I think that's what happened, but he. He was a dentist. Uh-huh. He was a dentist, and he would put people under and like. Oh, and I, heard, I remember w- that story. W- hang on, one person 
remembered it yeah. and they were like i am 100 percent certain he did it but the dna never matched and then they found out the reason it didn't match he had a like a pocket in his arm of somebody else's blood so they would stick that pocket and get different dna than his dna what the fuck he kept convincing they did his dna like multiple times and he kept being like can you do this arm because this arm has veins that roll so they would just do it because like oh well whatever like they're not going to argue that they're gonna be like no we know your veins are good like how like fuck you and uh, so they they knew like veins moving out the way that's the thing that like i have bad veins the only place on me that you can start an iv is in the top of my foot and it hurts like a bitch geez. because that's the only part of me where the veins are like good uh anyway he kept convincing them that the only part that had good veins was here so they kept getting the other blood. And then they were like, okay, let's try your other arm. He's like, no, 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 do this. It was like, we've done that one like five fucking times. Give me your other arm. And then his DNA matched. And that's how they found out that he had the fucking thing in his arm. What the fuck, man? Prisoners are like, prisoners are like, he wasn't seriously, a prisoner. Like, he was a dentist. Oh, at the time he was a dentist? Okay. At the, at the time he was, a, that's, that's what he was like. He was a dentist. And when he would put people under, he would like, hit the cha-cha slide on them and then go on about his day and real smooth yeah but one person was like cognizant enough to recall what <laughs> I'm happened so sorry i'm i'm moving on <laughs> they, they <Yeah>. remembered <laughs> clap one and time they, go to jail two <laughs> times uh, they remembered they're like no that's him i swear to god and the dna never matched but in order to seem like less suspicious he submitted to a DNA test every single time it was requested because he knew it wasn't going to match, but he also knew that if he was like, no, fuck you, that would raise some suspicions. Mm -hmm. So he just kept submitting to the test over and over and over again because he had fake blood. Well, it was someone else's blood, but it, like, it wasn't <laughs> his. Hey, dude, can I borrow some of your blood real quick, dude? I do. My pocket's running short, man. I, I need some... Uh... When you're a dentist, you can do some weird... Like That's the whole thing about rich ass dentists going on safaris and killing shit that dentists are eccentric as fuck they're weird fucking people metalocalypse could confirm that there's some fucked up people man <laughs> dentists just cannot be trusted no my dentist was a weird man like not not weird in like an illegal way but like <laughs> there were i didn't i didn't take care of when i was a kid i did not take care of my teeth no, i take care of them now because these are all i got i gotta <laughs> take care of them but when I was a kid, I just didn't fucking care because I was like, I got another set. It'll grow in. Mm -hmm. And then reality set in after I lost all those teeth. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it was mm -hmm. bad. But something he would do to pop out. This is my dentist. So, like if a tooth had to come out, he would numb you. And then he would take a pair of pliers and he would wiggle it back and forth to get it a little bit of space. And he would take a flathead screwdriver and pop it between the teeth Jesus. And, like, and one of the teeth would come out and he did that more than fucking once and i was like yeah that's just what dentists do and then i would tell people like yeah my dentist popped my tooth out with a screwdriver and he gave <laughs> me the tooth back to throw it away i guess because for some reason i asked it because i believed in the tooth fairy so i was like uh -huh. i know that tooth is fucked but if i get like all three of them to her i should get like at least a dollar so that was my whole theory. I was like, can I have it? So, and he was like, dude, it's your teeth. Do what you want. If you go into a dentist's office and there's a screwdriver or any type of tool period in there, just don't leave. Or if they're playing the cha-cha slide song or whatever, get the fuck out of there. He was a nice dude. It's just weird. Yeah, that's not Also, that. di dentists have like the weirdest ways of complimenting people. Like you have a, a really... Dense cheekbones. <laughs> really, uh, I just, I love the, you uh, got them the big space muscles. between your hairs and your eyebrows. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I went in for a cleaning one time. I went in for a cleaning one time and the lady doing like the cleaning. Cause like, obviously to get your teeth clean, you got, uh, yeah. so I'm just, you know, about, and she's just looks like dead into my mouth and he's like you salivate quite a lot that's pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
And now I was like, imagine you getting that. And imagine getting that compliment, like just walking down the sidewalk with some yeah. fucking bystander. Like, under what other circumstance could that happen? <laughs> and I, she meant it as a compliment. She was yeah. like, "That's really cool." And I was like, "Thanks, thank you." And she was Dear like, God, "Yeah, man. I, I do that too." And I was like, "Most people salivate." <laughs> yeah, like You've been the, like, uh, I've been practicing all my life. It's a hobby of mine. I've been spitting on people since I was seven. It's a hobby. <laughs> I just sit around and salivate all day, man. That's it. <laughs> I just sit back on the recliner with my mouth open and just let Niagara Falls come out of my mm-hmm. throat. I just stare at like really good food and just drool. I don't. I don't see the point of like the point. I've never stared at a piece of food and just salivated to an extremity. Like I have to sit. I absolutely I have, have to like if I like looking at food doesn't make me salivate, which is weird because I'm overweight as fuck. Like you would th- those things go hand in hand. Like you would think, right? What does make me go is thinking about pickles. Only yeah. pickles do it. Only pickles or things with like vinegar in them. What about like sour stuff? I'm th- like if I think about like lemons or limes or whatever, nothing. Damn. I mean, obviously, like if I put it in my mouth, I'll salivate. <laughs> but the only time, like, I'm not eating something and, like, I'm becoming wet is if I'm uh, thinking about, like, pickles or something vinegary. Like, salt and vinegar chips, dill pickles, fucking so pickled carrots. I'm so sorry. Like, <laughs> describing, like, your mouth is wet. Like, God, I'm so wet right now, man. I can't. Ugh. Damn, I, w- I would eat the fuck out of some pickles right now. Yeah, I absolutely fucking hate pickles. I hate pickles so fucking much. I don't like cucumbers either. You bitch. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I fucking hate pickles. One of my favorite things on the damn planet, getting like a sour ass dill pickle, like an extra fucking sour dill pickle. And the uh-huh. best way to get make like make 100% sure that they're like the extra fucking sour stank nasty kind of pickles, <laughs> Winco brand, sourest fucking dill pickles I've ever had in my life. One of those and some medium cheddar together. Damn. Heaven. It is good. If heaven doesn't have Winco pickles and me- medium cheddar, I don't want to go. <laughs> That's like the most <laughs> South Carolina sentence I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Oh, man. I, so you don't like fried pickles neither? No. Man, I, I just don't like dude, pickles, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Speaking it's, of being bummed out, we've run out of time. We have. <laughs> Um, We've gone over our allotted amount by 20 minutes. Yeah, but it's okay. We have Before fun Before we even hopped on, we were like 30 minutes, and we're going to call it there. <laughs> we're in, it's we're okay. almost an hour in. We have fun here. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, you know, and when we're not breaking into places and shitting on the floor or salivating or, or coming back to life or shoving missiles up our asses, you know. That's, we do that a lot. Yeah. I mean, I got one up my ass right now, dude. I like to put Nerf bullets in my butt and shit them out at people. Mm-hmm. Act like I'm a shooter. Yeah. No. <laughs> I like to keep a boot in my ass. <laughs> like an old old boot. I saw a picture yesterday of uh, boots that are meant to look like bare feet. But they're like tall ass fucking combat boots. Like Dear the God. lace up. But the bottom of it is just toe. That's disgusting. That's it's way more awesome. disgusting than a wet boot up someone's ass. That's so gross. Yeah, it's it looked painful too. It's just now. Yeah. Anyway, all right, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. As always, uh, we love you, and uh, we'll see you next time. It's been real. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> Get fucked, you dumbasses. Fuck you. Fuck you. God. Damn. Also, go you Cowboys. Fucking what? Cowboys are going to win the goddamn Super Bowl. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>